hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on elastic search so this will be part 3 of elastic search tutorial for beginners and uh, I want to show you how we can set up elastic search on Ubuntu or Debian system okay. uh, in my tutorial part 1 we show you how to set up on CentOS Linux uh, but there has been a lot of requests like you know how to do it on Ubuntu system as well so I'm going to uh, talk about that in this tutorial so to be very quick and easy tutorial where you can set up elastic search so we can proceed to next uh, parts of uh, learning okay. so before I get into the actual uh, process how to set up I would request you to click on the subscribe button if you have not done yet or you are new to my channel and also like uh, the video share and comment so in order to start you know I'm using uh, an Ubuntu machine uh, which is built on a uh, virtualization platform you can use VMware workstation or Oracle virtual box or any kind of uh, no virtualization or you can have use your own Ubuntu servers or desktop as well since I want to do for this tutorial this is a, a virtual machine okay so uh, what I want to do is uh, there are a few steps okay uh, so let's go with the step-by-step -step procedure so the first step is we need to add the keys you know, for the elastic search okay so this command I have to run and I'm, I'm doing all these commands which is from the Elasticsearch uh, uh, documentation okay so and I also will give the link and these commands in the video description so you can just copy and paste it from there so you don't have to write it uh, uh, looking into the screen so you can just check the video description for that so the first command is this so since you know um, I'm not uh, running as a pseudo user I just need to give the password for it okay Okay, so this is done. So the second step is I need to install the uh, transport HTTPS. So this will be the second package. Okay. Let me try to run it again. For some reason, you know, so the package is locked. Okay, now oh, it's working. Okay, so I think what I saw is like there was an issue with uh, some of the files was getting locked. So what you need to do is just check the process uh, which are running and kill the process which is uh, locking it. And then you just do a, a apt update and you can install it. So now it is installed. Okay, if you are facing that problem, just kill the process which is causing it. Okay, let's proceed to the next step, which would be to add the repository. Okay, so this command will add it. So let's run that. Okay, so that's also done. So next uh, step is to install it. So we can just uh, run this command, add install, uh, update, and also add get install Elasticsearch. So see, I'm combining both together. You can run it separate as well. Okay, so let's run this and wait for the package to be updated and installed. So the installation is going on let's wait for that to be completed so i will just skip those uh, process i'll wait uh, come back once the installation is done okay great so the installation is completed let me clear out the screen and uh, let's take the status of uh, the elastic source service okay now we can see the service is there but it's uh you know uh, in inactive or dead state right so let's do one thing uh, let's uh, start the service so for that we will do start okay let's wait for the service to get started so since it's asking for authentication let's type the password okay Now, if you run the status uh, Elasticsearch dot service, you can see the uh, active status. Right, it's running. Previously, it was dead. So uh, the service is running now. And if you want to uh, enable the service, you can uh, run the command like enable means like whenever you turn on the machine. If you want the, the service to be started, you can run the enable service as well. Okay. So uh, it will create uh, as a uh, uh, you know demon when it's uh, starting it. Okay, so I think you need to uh, also restart the demon. Okay, so let me run those command.
So you can start restart the daemon and then you can enable the service. Okay, great. So now we can see, you know, it has created a symlink. Okay, so this way you can uh, enable the Elastic so service as well. So whenever you turn on the machine, it will uh, start the service automatically. Now you can double check, you know, whether the Elastic search is running. You can uh, run the curl command, uh, and since Elastic search run on the port uh, 9200, you can run the curl. Since uh, the curl is not installed, we need to. Uh, run the curl so I will install app to get install curl. Okay, so let's install that first. Okay, the curl is installed, so let's clear out the screen and uh, let's run the curl command. Now you can see we are getting the output of Elasticsearch, right? So it says the cluster name Elasticsearch and it give you the details uh, on uh, the details what we install on the machine, right? So that makes sure that you know now it's giving us the clear output that Elasticsearch is running. Uh, so uh, this is all I wanted to show in this tutorial. Uh, it's just a setup screen if you see like the same way we did it for CentOS and we you know got this similar kind of output when we run the curl command right so the upcoming tutorials we will see how to import the data how to query something how to integrate with uh, you know logstash uh, beats you know kibana and all those things in the step-by-step -step tutorial okay so that is all uh, for this tutorial and i hope uh, this is informative for you and uh, i want to thank you for watching and uh, the support you are given so kindly click on my subs, uh, subscribe button on my channel if you are not done yet and also like uh, this video share and comment